Hi, I'm back again. Um, I've been, I've had a massive haul this week from all different things. I thought I'd come back. I might have to even do it in two parts because I've got so much to show you. Um, I said last time I had a couple of eBay things. I'm going to get straight to it because otherwise I'm going to ramble on and on and on. But I had such a hard week, and yesterday I managed to fin finish early. And I thought well, I just couldn't wait for today. I shot off after work straight down for the last half an hour in one charity shop and a, uh, another half an hour in another charity shop. I had about an hour to you know to try and hit them all. Um, well, two of them anyway that I wanted to go to. So I did that. And then, of course, first thing this morning, there's a couple of things I wanted to go back for. I didn't get in the end because I got sidetracked by the other ones, as you do. Um, but I picked up loads of things. So I don't know. I'm going to just hit, really crack on quickly with the last little eBay bits I've bought. First of all, and I've had these already, but it's just it was such a bargain I had to show you. I've got these Nikki Clark, um, these heated... Uh, sticks I've got I've got the other ones that you get from um, you know you just do your hair damp and and let, let it dry I've got those already I've got those from Primark but I just wanted them heated ones because not you know you don't always have your hair damp or sometimes when you damp it my hair's so thick it doesn't work so I wanted to try these I've got these for one a pound and four P absolutely ridiculous um, and they're brilliant I've used them already and these kind of things give you a different curl to rollers. So I've got these that I wanted for a, a sort of tighter curl. And then I've got my rollers, which I will show you. Another eBay purchase. Another Nikki Clark, but they're travelling set. These ones here. And you've got like your um, your red ones are the bigger ones. You just click in there and you've got your, your red dot that goes white uh, when, it, when they're ready. And then you've got your black black ones here which are slightly smaller and they just clip in with these pins um, and these were they were 104 these were 269 or something ridiculous I bid I got the bid for but I couldn't believe it because I've tried to get these ones before and they just kept um, overbidding me it's because they're very light and they're good if you you know if going away and only when I go away I only take a hand thing so that's those two eBay ones I just wanted to show you and then I had a bit on this ages ago I forgot all about it it's a little papaya um, I like papaya you know they do some really pretty things and it's a little um little Peter Pan blouse uh, with these lovely um sequins and it's like although it's advertised as dusky pink I would it's it's a very odd colour. I don't know, you can see that it's coming across on screen exactly as it is. So it's kind of a beigey, I don't know, really beautiful. Um, and I got that for, it was £7 and 4p with the postage. So that was quite a bargain actually. But also, mind you, after charity shopping, it's not really such a bargain, is it? But that's that and I, I absolutely love it. Then I told you I was waiting for a navy dress. And uh, here it is. It's made by f uh, Dolls and Frogs. It's got like a nice um, crossover piece at the front. But again, I think, you know, for that little top I said it was good for, it's a little bit too fancy. But it's a great little uh, sort of vintage style dress in jersey and very comfortable to wear. Um, so I'm actually really happy with that anyway. Um, and it's got like a kind of a, an orange. Can't tell you the orange thing's coming in now orange piping and tie backs the dress I'm wearing actually was brand new it's by a, by a designer called Marion Canova again I got on eBay and I got it for uh, just over £10 brand new and um, really it's like a silky material with like the print on the bottom really lovely um, so I thought I'd wear that for you today because I was going to wear some I was going to wear my, one of my other vintage ones but um the colour didn't come across on screen so well. Anyway, I'm rambling yet again. Right, so what I wanted to share with you after my eBay purchases was... Oh no, I've got one more eBay purchase. This this great little thing here. It's an innie bag. And I saw these in Spain a couple of years ago. I never bothered getting one, but I kept thinking about it ever since. Um, because I change my bag so often. It's a pain in the neck. This little innie bag. So you've got like little pockets in here. I've got my um, keys, oh, my keys and charger in this one. That just clips off there. And, um, oh 
you've got them hiding it. I'm not showing you very well. And then you've got a couple of big, a, a big sort of compartment in the middle which holds my purse, and a smaller one which has got a pair of my glasses. Oh, some more sunnies that I bought the other week. And then you've got a couple of um, pockets. That's got my oyster, and I put my phone in there. And and then you've got your your bit for your your pen. So then you can just take it out. You just take it out and you just pop it into all your individual bags. So I thought I'd show you. And that was three ninety nine postage free on eBay. Uh, they did other colours, but I thought black was kind of universal or goes with anything really. So that's that one. Um, right now, I don't know if any of you lot, we've just got a pound land arrive on our doorstep. Oh my God. What, so mind you, say it's the worst thing because I've gone nuts in there. So. Um, I keep going back in there, but they've got some amazing things. Now, a few years ago, I bought some hiragami strips. They were called hiragami, and you can do wonderful things with your hair, put them in buns. Um, I used to get them on eBay, and they used to cost me something like two sixty-five to to four pound, really, depending where I got them from. Pound. So these are like metal strips inside like a, a velvet and you can do amazing little ponies, Even you can even do like a snaky thing, S, a double S thing on the back. Really elegant, really handy. I work in hair transplant so I'm in scrubs all day, I have to keep my hair out of the way and these are so quick and easy to just sort your hair out. If you want me to do a tutorial on the things I do with them, um, because you get two in a pack, just just let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll show you how to use them. They're great fun and they're so easy to use. Super, super quick for a quick, elegant hairstyle. So I'll stain myself a couple of those for a pound each. Um, lovely little makeup case because I thought, well, as I've got my innie bag, I need a, a thing to put my makeup in. So that was a pound and it's got little roses. I love that. That's really cute. Um... Now, hangers, I was buying these. You get three for a pound in Poundland, but in, in uh, Primark, they were 10 for four pound, which makes them 40 pound each. So these are 33p each. I've got a few in Tesco's, which I think they worked out at 50p each. Um, they're so thin that you can really pack a lot in your wardrobe. And as you know, with this thrifting lock, you need to do that. So I've got a couple, myself a couple of packs, more packs of those to hang on. The things that I keep buying all the time now, and you can see there's three together. They really, they really do get quite slim, so you can fit loads in your wardrobe. I couldn't believe what I've got in my one of my wardrobes. So that's those. And then um, I've got myself some extra reading glasses. These are really cute. They've got little flowers on them. Not that you'd probably be interested in those. I've got another pair of them on here with little hearts on. Um, and these were amazing. You know, scarves are really handy just um, to sort of cover up a bit, you know, a bit if you're having an off day with a certain dress or a certain dress is not cut too well. The scarves are a great little thing to just change something up. Um, so I found these, these lovely little crinkly ones with lovely little prints. That's that one. Um, I love this one. I had to dig right at the back for this. I had to take them all off to get to this one. It's like a sort of tealy green with roses. And um, a lovely little pink one. Pink being the theme of the day, I think, by the looks of the things I picked up. But, uh, so there's a little pink one there. Uh, and they're all a pound each. I might even, you know what, I might even do a giveaway if I get to a thousand, if I get to not a thousand, a hundred um, subscriptions or something. I might give a giveaway on these. Yeah, I might give one away. Um, so that's that's those. So that was Poundland. So it's really, really fantastic, super place for picking up little bits and pieces. All the hair bit, all the hair things, and uh, are really, really good. So, uh, so that's that. Um, so yesterday, ran home from work and um, managed to hit two of the charity shops. For a start off. I've got this lovely vintage bag that I spotted right at the last minute, just as I do it sort of at the cash desk. And I grabbed it, £1.50, and um, it's an Oasis bag. I mean, that's great for my thrifting, I tell you. That's going to go a long way. And actually, do you know, I was thinking, it'll fit inside my hand case, and then I can sort of take that on holiday. So it'll be quite handy for thrifting around there as well. Who knows? But I'm going to give it a wash, because I've cleaned the bottom with a... 
baby wipe. I tell you what, baby wipes amazing for everything. Took a lot of the little bit of scuffs on the bottom, but I think you know because it's material, I'm going to just chuck it in the machine and see what happens for one pound fifty. Do you know what? Even if I end up just having it as a, a bag to carry around, it's not gonna it's not gonna be too bad, is it? So that's that one. And then um, right, so that's and that's all in the. Um, Cancer place, and I love this place. I tell you what, I, everything's so damn cheap. So we have um, a pair of next linen tr linen trousers, brand spanking new, tag still attached, twenty pound, and it was two pounds. So that's the first thing. So I'm really happy with those, and they fit really nice. I've got a 14 in those, actually, because I wanted them a bit looser. I like them. They're nice when they kind of sling a bit low, don't they, those sort of thing. Oh, and then this lovely acidy yellow little blouse. £2, because it's a blouse. All the blouses are in there are £2, and it's uh, a next one, and it's got a lovely embroidery on it. I've tried it on, and it actually looks really gorgeous on, but I've got to wash all these things. Um... Yep, so that's that. Really, really nice. I'm looking forward to wearing that. And then we have... I want to make top bananas. Green. Haha. <laughs> green again. Can't go without green in my life these days. A little green... Um, uh, sort of like... A, it's a... Yeah, you know, like a linen thing. Um, this might modder at George, so this must be a George thing. Um, I thought it's quite nice actually for holiday. It's a huge size. Oh well, it's a, it's not a huge size. It's an eighteen, but it's quite generous when it's on. But you know, when you're on holiday, you just, sometimes you just want to fling something on and it for to be loose and comfortable because I'm going next week. So I got that, and I quite like that a lot. I like the colour. I've gone into the bright colours for some reason. Um, then I found this little being a uh, British home store top um, and it's got like a little uh, print through it going through it but it's really cute and it's got like a little uh, peplum -y thing at the bottom but again it's a nice comfortable little t-shirt thing to wear with just a little bit of styling to it I suppose you could always sling a little white belt um, around the bottom so that's that one um, Oh god yeah, an orange. So I found an orange that was gonna go under that orange uh cardi that I showed you before. And it's silk and it's monsoon. So um now did it yeah, it's still two pounds even though it was silk and it's monsoon. It's a and it is a size oh it's just got large on it. But it's lovely. I've tried that one as well. It's nice uh, blues blues on. And silk, it's silk soft and cool, isn't it? And it just feels very light to wear. Hey, and this was great. I, I found myself some more uh, of these straight jeans. These have been worn. You can actually see the wear marks on them because they could hear. Um, and they, but they're John Rosher. Um, they've even got it on the little button. I think you probably can't see, but. Yeah, and um, they, they're they a little bit snugger than the uh, Dorothy Perkins because, you know, I told you I'm 12 on the bottom, but I think I put it on a bit of weight and also um, it they I get a bit of a muffin with these, but, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, you can wear a blouse over the top, stick a belt underneath and your muffin's hidden for all to see. But they're actually nice, a nice jean though. And um, yeah, I mean, they, they're snug, but I have... You know, once I get rid of these extra couple of pounds that I've piled on lately, it's too many sweeties, I think, um, that'll be fine. And then I got this, this was a, it's called Fos, Fosby's The Make. I don't know what, the, I've never heard of those before. Um, all about, all aboard. Oh, this was actually next door, actually, and it was three pounds, but I liked it because it's pink spotty. Um, and the size, it was the size that was quite, it's a size 22, um, but it's really, really quite, uh, nice to blouse up. I, I like the colour, it's like a, it's like a, a sort of coffee coloured brown with pink, and, um, I just, I think little blouses like that are really handy for when you are having those days where you're a bit bloated, so you can wear them with uh, a jean and you can put a belt quite low, you know, low underneath the belly 
and uh, and then it's hiding everything so I quite liked that so this is all from overboard actually that was from the, the shop the next shop down well the last thing I got in the cancer place was this little um, dangly thing here oh, it was a hot a little it's just a little charm but I thought it might maybe hang on a underneath the blouse here or something I don't know I just liked it I'm sure I'll find some use for it somewhere but I quite um I mean it was it was a pound so I just couldn't ref you know I couldn't turn it down really it was just really really cute so I I thought well I'll get that and I'll do something with it but, so that's that so going carrying on with the overboard shop I went a bit too mad right and um I found Oh God, another three cardigans, one from Monsoon, a minty green with like a, a little short sleeve but it came up sort of pleated here, little buttons, fitted like a dream, a pale blue sort of short, again short sleeve cardy thing and a vintage um, Angora black cropped cardy with all pearls and things around here and around here. Well anyway, I went so crazy. I couldn't, because I couldn't get Wi-Fi, I couldn't transfer money from one account to another, so I had to leave some to go and pick up tomorrow, Sunday, bank holiday Sunday, because um, I couldn't I couldn't quite get, get I'd have gone mad in the shop before, you see. So anyway, um, I've gone over budget, basically, but I'm going to go back anyway. So, but the other couple of bits I got in there with the money I had left was this. Um, the name is... Utam London, I don't know if you know that name, um, but it's really a bit, it's unusual and it's green of course, it's got this kind of knitted band here um, with like a, a little skirty thing with like a side kick here, but I thought it's nice for leggings and uh, I like the colours, um, I think maybe with band I would probably put, get a really wide chunky belt over it to cover that up. It's a bit funny having a bit of knitted with these different textures, but it's quite nice to have all the different textures. Um, but I really love the colours. So, yeah, that's that one. And, of course, again, when I go into that overboard place, I, they've got some amazing belts. Um, and those are what I've got to go back for. Actually, I'm, I'm lying now, because this one, I found a belt to go with that pink dress that I told you about from Next. And it is a Next, it is a Next belt, brand new. Um, and it's a pa it was a pound from the um, cancer place, so it's a baby pink. I don't think you can see. Probably didn't. anyway. So that will go with that pink dress I showed you with the little tiny polka dots. Perfect colour as well. That's that. But then in the overboard shop, I found this gorgeous little belt here. Um, it's it's got nice hardware on it, and it's got all these like d sort of discs, and it's just a thin black belt, but it's so, it's just so pretty. Um, so you've got something plain, it'll just give it that lift, you know, just give it that little lift. Belts are fantastic, as I say, for hiding, uh, sort of when you've got like bends in the body and things like that. It just gives it definition and people think, is that fat or is that a belt? It's, and hopefully they think it's the belt. Anyway, I was looking in the gents belts. Always good to go and look in the gents belts. And um, I think they put this by accident because look, it's covered. It's a lovely vintage... Um, leather belt with with flowers all across the back and this gorgeous brass heavy buckle I really love it and I love the fact that it's kind of worn quite worn you know it, it looks great on jeans and things like that when you you just and say so you can bring it down to the hip if you've got the muffin thing you bring it down to your small part after the hip and then your muffin thing sits on you know sits in the blousy bit and it looks like you've got slim hips well, that's what I do anyway. Um, so those are that. That was that shop. Right. So on to today. Oh my God! I went in all. Of, I went back for. I went back to the cancer place because I've picked up a warehouse, sort of, um, you know, pin-up style dress, very straight. But the bust. I've got quite big busted, unfortunately. Um, 
it was a funny cut sort of above here but when I thought about it when I went home I thought well actually if I wore a balconette style bra it would give me the right shape for the dress and it was two pounds so I didn't even pick it up yesterday not even to try on I didn't really have that much time because I was limited so I thought that's it I'm heading straight out there first thing this morning trouble was I got sidetracked along the way so by the time I got down to it it had gone I'm not surprised because it was a gorgeous dress but you know um but that's that's the luck of the draw, isn't it, with this this game? But saying that, I have I've just got such a haul here anyway, um, and I've rambled on for twenty minutes, so I'm going to have to do another tape. So I will um, show you what I got today. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> 